and welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the more mature Mona Lisa, which I named Me Dion, and this is the younger Mona Lisa, which is in the museum. I want you to know that um, Leonardo da Vinci was uh, madly in love with the Mona, and that uh, she um, was very young, and when she grew up, he he painted her again. And this is a lost painting done by Leonardo da Vinci. I have over 500 YouTubes. If you like, you can take a look at all the images in which we're going to be seeing. Now, in her shoulder area, right here, this this main area, is one of the uh, colored uh, pulled out images that's behind her. And in um, her dress area, this V area, the darker, is uh, the same another image so I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to go into showing you um, that when you take this is the Mona Lisa and this is the me Dion the me Dion's turned sideways her dress goes this way and this is his hidden works and under and when you put this up here you got plenty of, of, of movement he's actually this is a dog a dog head here He's dog head, no image here. But what he does is he gives you the dog head, and then he puts a guy on here to ride him. And what's really neat is this is L O V E. Okay? L O V E. And you can see part of the V right here. When you line up the V, which you don't have to. When you line up the V, you can see the man riding this way if you wanted to and riding that way. And then you can see this face here with this big old Hemen hat. And that was for a diva woman, but he was gay and he liked to cross dress and the diva hat was for parties. So, and that's in my other YouTubes too. So when you put him back up in here, and you can see the face, I'm gonna pull this down. You can see the outline and the stars and the diamonds. Now each of these stars and diamonds are actually portraits and cartoons when you really get into blowing them up if you get the depth of field on them. And I have had the depth of field. I have had images that took a $15,000 microscope of mine and didn't even penetrate it 20%. Okay, now when you end up with this, you'll see this has an eye here, an eye here, an eye here, an eye here. He will make his images all the way go around 360. This is a big mouth, this is a big round oval head, and that's one of his cartoons. These are like sunglasses down here. He builds heads on top, and these are sunglasses here, and it, these are sunglasses. This book continues. And these sunglasses are in my YouTube also. It's actually his hidden signature. And uh, yeah, I call it the double O signature, even though they're not double O's, because there's not a double O in this signature, but it is when he tricks it. So, and you put this back up in the circle area, whoops, you put this back up and you line it, and you pull it back down, you can see the big oval area that it covers. He does it in reverse. And when you pull it down, you can see the big opening of the mouth, where the big opening of the mouth, and then you can see like the dots where the eyes were float. Leonardo da Vinci's work slid across the room like this, okay? He turned around and he was making his work, okay, move like a television. Now, if you actually move this enough in this L-O-V-E, actually is hidden in here also when you change it and you move it back down and you put this up, I don't think I went far enough. No, I did not. And you will end up seeing the L-O-V-E written in here. Okay. And if you pull it down, you can see the line here, an O. You can see a V, and you can see an E. It's all hidden in these, these, these codes. Now, when Leonardo da Vinci spells something, and you just see an E, and you believe it's just going to be a block letter, it's not just a block letter. Because he will integrate the other stars like to be an E. So 
if you really look at these and you go boom 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 that's a backwards e okay he he and 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 then what you see is black and you think is nothing when you penetrate it under a different type of layers and and actually stare at it to try to figure out what's in it which you always have to try to figure out what's in it that he has he's actually telling you things he gives you these into windows or these little incentive little deals like connect the dots and you can if you look at this and you start connecting the dots you'll see probably if I just left it there and you stare down it for you know five minutes solid which I've spent you know three four hours just looking at one dinky little image you'll end up with tons of things tons I mean more than you can handle or try to get in your mind if you really look at this without he's also made a bird where it says love how did he make a bird okay he made here's an eye here's an eye and here's the beak that comes on down now you have to have a true artist thought in the sense of going what he uh, uh, hidden stylist and this is a big face and then if you really stare at it it looks like a bear and then when you stare at it again it looks like a dog and then when you get into the other little deals it just adds he does it kind of like Indians did with totem poles he built an image on top of an image on top of an image but he did it 360 degrees plus all the way around this totem poles that builds the Mona Lisa the Mona Lisa's picture is actually built out of trillions of codes and images that are uh, put on top of each other uh, smaller than pixels smaller than the eye can see I haven't seen one item that he has put in the painting that did not have a massive most massive multi um, a meaning in other words one item is never one item see look at look at how I accidentally laid this over to only show part of this if you take a look at part of this right here an eye an eye a nose you pull it on down this image and you're gonna lose it see you lost it you, so what you got is two heads so you block this this is you block this section off and don't even see it now you got a guy with an eye an eye and a nose looking down with like a horse here building with a rider on it and then if you block this off you just got this like a cat with a nose uh, a cat symbol and the reason why I come up that's just what I, I see it as when you come up with your um, uh, thought don't forget in just turning on an angle looking at it this way or looking at it this way or up or down and lighting it's going to really light up now in the dress and what you see it if you actually look at it it actually comes on up and goes not only does it look like a dog but if you actually look this is a person's face waiting for the lover to come to him and sometimes he had this big puppy dog love of that individual that he would classify you know like my honey bear and your honey bear is your husband or and or my little sweetie pie of course you don't have a pie come to you but you know what I'm trying to say but you know, it's, yeah, well anyway let's get off that part and anyway I want to tell you that uh, that's just one of Leonardo da Vinci's hidden uh, deals and I have about 30 YouTubes to, to load up this is going to be one of them I waited about mm, a week I had to uh, uh, fix my computer but I had the images ready and I'm still gonna do a little more work to it but I, I got the I got the parts and it's hanging in there for this so anyway so I'm gonna continue until she almost blows up and I want to say God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and you have a very safe day amen